we're Ray and Jay, and I'll let you figure out who's who. We have a horror block. Funny story that apparently we got on Saturday, and... That was only two days ago. It's not like that was last month. Jay just put it in his room. I think I was in a... Thinking. I think I was, like, in a hurry to go die. And so, I like, can't. I just, like, oh, box, oh, whatever. And took it with me. All right. Anyway, we have a horror block. It's not too postponed, thank you. Um, and as per usual, we have no idea about any spoilers or anything at it all. It has horror-based things, I'm hoping. Theoretically, it will be full of block-shaped horror items. Mm -hmm. And other than the puzzle cube from <laughs> Hellraiser, I really don't know. And we already have one of those, so eh. Yeah, who knows? All right, anyway. Are you going to be opening today? I think I am. Oh. They're taking all of the all of the work from me today. Mm -hmm. I'm taking the responsibility. I'm taking the workload. I'm taking the onus. Wow, that's nice. I feel something made of fabric. Our t-shirt. I have a suspicion it may be a t-shirt. It's white. Wow. Oh. Ha. Huh. This is an amazing shirt, and it's an amazing shirt for Jay. Or Ray. The world would never know. That's a joke about the opening. Did you get yeah, it? Yeah, I get it. Oh, wow. I mean, that's that is beautiful. so mine. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Nosferatu, Symphony of Horror. Um, hi. You don't <laughs> need that face, right? <laughs> I don't need my face at all. Don't okay, let's it. just sort of slow pan over how beautiful that is. Oh, my God. I can never, like, that's so good. Look at the inverted cross. Mm -hmm. Look at the human heart there. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's nice. It doesn't even say Nosferatu, it just says Symphony of Horror, the subtitle. That's so good. With the rats. And the rope from the cargo ship. That is a really good. And the bats. God, that's amazing. Um, whoever this artist is, good job, thank you, we love you. <laughs> I can't wear it yet. Do you want to tell anybody about how much you love Nosferatu? <laughs> is it necessary? Did I not make myself clear by saying, oh my god? I really love the Nosferatu movie. Um, I don't know what else is there to say about that. <laughs> Honestly, I um, have not watched Nosferatu. In I know something that I could say about that. Oh, okay, go ahead. Maybe one of the coolest moments of my life. You know where this is going. Maybe one of the <gasps> coolest moments of my life was at one of the... I guess it was the second to last. No, 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 no. It was the very last Little Rock horror picture show. Before, before it, it changed. The Little Rock picture show. Right. Um, they did a showing of Nosferatu, um, which, as you well know, is a silent film. Um, they did a showing of that with uh, a live band doing the, um, the soundtrack, doing a, a live score. That was really incredible. In fact, um... They did that two years in a row. They did two years in a row. First one was Metropolis. And it was so good. And that, that was so good, I bought the album of the band that did that. Mm -hmm. um, and if I remember right, I think that the year that they did Nosferatu, I tried to buy that band's album, and mm -hmm. I couldn't find it on any media system that I wanted to use. Ah, I see. Um, so I don't even remember who that band was now. How unfortunate, because it was an, an amazing was really experience. Good. So good. Anyway, that was an A-plus t-shirt, and I feel really excited, and I've already got my money worth, so <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, oh, my okay. God. Okay. I feel... Someone's vehement. A DVD? A Blu-ray? A DVD, We've probably? been getting a lot of DVDs recently. In the, in the house, house of, of flies. flies. Okay. Let's show this while we look at the back. Director Gabriel Carrer, of things I've never heard of, returns with the retro 80s thriller, that's good, in the house of flies. Two young lovers, Heather and Steven, find their lives inadvertently changed forever when they're suddenly abducted. With no idea who has taken them or for what purpose, the couple struggle to escape. Alone, isolated, and imprisoned in a cold, unforgiving basement, Heather and Steven soon find themselves pawns in the psychological game of their captor, featuring music from 80s icon Saga and Brighton Rock. And the House of Flies is intense, horrific, well-acted, and thought-provoking. Huh. Incredibly strong and realistic. Real horror flicks this intense, horrific, and well-acted, and thought-provoking are few and far between these days. Does it sound like ghosts, which means I probably have not seen it. Um, several film festival awards, although some of it is official selection. But, cool. Um, neat. That's 
so that goes, I guess, on our list of reviewing. I guess we will watch this and then report back and tell you what we think about it. Because our opinions are so important. And well thought out. I just kind of want to die a little. <laughs> our opinions are neither important nor well thought out. No. But it's fun, it's fun doing the videos. So there we go. Okay. All right. Next. I feel a DVD. What? Are you for real? Oh my god. <laughs> I've never seen any of these movies. Oh my god. Which, think about me for a second. And how weird it is that I've never seen any of these. It's so weird that you... Okay. So, our second DVD of the <laughs> box is Puppet Master 3. Wow. And I distinctly remember this movie. Really? Yes. Because of Leech Woman. Leech Woman? Leech Woman. Her name is my name too. Yes, I know. So I, I figure you would have like a spiritual connection. With each woman. Uh huh. Yeah, that's my, um, that's my of sister. Of course, I, uh, like, this came out when? In. Mm, 1824. 1824. Nazis? When I was like three. Why does so, it say Nazis? All I remember is being very young and watching this movie. And the only thing that's ever stuck with me is Leech Woman. Um, Nazis! Doctor has a Gestapo henchman during World War II sends the Gestapo to a theater to kidnap whoever. Uh, whisked away by Nazis. Yeah. What the shit? Okay, the reason it's interesting that I've never seen a Puppet Master movie is one of the many just really bizarre, disappointing things about me in my life is that I am really interested in puppetry. And so it's really weird and that I've never like seen any of these. old creepy dolls. Puppetry, old creepy shit. Look, there's even a little Nazi flag in the cover art. I don't know why you're obsessed about the Nazi. I'm just really surprised and weirded out that it's a Nazi thing in Puppet Master franchise. Not that I know anything about the Puppet Master franchise. I do not. All right, well, we'll watch that. So and more movies. I feel... I love that Horror Block has started doing this. Oh? It's another pin. Pin. Ooh! That's fun. It's a scream pin. Is it clear? Is it clear? It's out of focus. That's good enough. Yeah, there we go. Um, so, Scream Pin. Scream isn't my favorite. That might be yours. Mm. If you don't care about pins at all, then I'll keep it anyway. I don't care. I don't particularly... I really love pins. Keep pins. I actually really do. I actually bought another pin this last week. <laughs> I, I like them. I never wear them. I don't know. I'm wearing one today. You're wearing the goat. It's beside the point. It's not in frame. Oh no, my goat isn't in frame. Your goat isn't in frame. You need to show them. Um, I have a little golden goat pin and I have a little flower in it because today's May Day and that's the kind of person I am. Yeah. Happy May Day. <laughs> um, anyway, um, cool. All right. It'll go in my collection. Yeah. It's a good pin. I just feel like I don't appreciate Scream as much as I probably should, to be honest. Because I recognize how smart it is and like what a game changer it was. Mm -hmm. I crinkle, crinkle. Feel a top? No, I feel an army man. I feel an ash. ash. It's an Evil Dead 2 official board game. Ha! It's a little ash. Okay, that's cute. It's like a little army man, but technically it's a game token. He has a chainsaw hand. Or is he holding it? I no. vote for using... No, he's holding it. Yeah. I vote for using Ash in the next game of Betrayal. Oh my god. <laughs> we gotta bring that to New Orleans next year. Do we? Maybe not. That's really chunky. Anyway, what if? Who knows? Um, we're hoping to go to New Orleans next year. We're to meet some friends. Anyway. Some friends and most that's of just whom... a bulky game. Should oh yeah, well, we're gonna have my whole car. Anyway, whatever. This well. is a cool thing. Thank you, people, for a cool thing. <laughs> Alright. Is that it? No. Okay. There's a whole big thing that feels like, I don't know. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure he's not actually holding it. I think his... I disagree. I think he's holding it. Well, I don't know. No, I, I, I think that's his, that's, his, that's his chainsaw arm. Oh, yeah. I guess you're right. This is after it was already attached. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not yeah. convinced. So I feel like maybe a book, but it's like square. It's not square at all. Court of the Dead poster collection. Poster. Forty removable co posters. Rise, conquer, rule. Nerd book exclusive. All right. I just knocked over the camera up the tripod, didn't I? Did yeah, you? Yeah, it's still good. Having <laughs> <laughs> some 
some trouble there? You're having some trouble there. Yes, I am. Oh my god. Just get out of the plasma. There we go. Review the posters. Oh. Okay. Oh. Some of the art is really interesting. Some of the art's really familiar. So it's it's various I'll flip through skeletons and, show them. and ladies of boobs, ladies of boobs, and some culty stuff and some abstracty mm, weird stuff. Skeletor. It's hmm. basically generic sort of fantasy so, horror. Yeah, it's fantasy horror art. It's very very good fantasy horror I like art. That one. I'm probably not going to do anything with any of these. Mm -mm. I literally have one thing on my wall. Um, okay, well, it's good. I don't think they're for me. Yeah. But it's good art, so, and it's a very nice quality book. Let, let's just yeah. open it up and show you guys. Like, it's pretty good, thick quality. If you're into, like... It's very nice quality. Posters for your walls, like little mini posters. I could probably see, like, a, sort of a... Just a display of all of these. And they're front and back, so I hope you they're don't front like... front and back. <laughs> I hope you don't like both on the same page. Which is kind of disappointing to be. The but they're really nice. Yeah. It's basically an art book. Yeah. And what a nice art book it is. It is a very nice art book. Alright. I'm guessing I feel more... Yep. Remorg, it's a real one. American Ooh, Rise Gods. of the American Gods. I'm so excited. The uh, first episode has come out. A Anton LaVey, his life and legacy plus occult fashion. Ooh. That might be something that Jay actually wants to read. What I'm usually know? the only one reading these things. The Watcher in the Woods, Chainsaw and Dave, The Void, Ghoul Town Returns, the Horror, Horror of Party, Party Beach. Beach, Resident Evil 7. Horror of Party Beach. Horror of Party Beach. This is very familiar to me. Okay. It's very unfamiliar to me. Or a party beach. And Resident Evil 7. I will read this because these are fun. And I'm interested in Anton LaVey. So here you go. I am sad that they went down to six issues of Rue Morgue though. Because, I, I mean, the uh, Apocrypha books and stuff are cool and everything. But not the same as articles about modern horror and stuff like that. Uh, Evil Dead 2... The official sequel before that other sequel. Get it free right now. Oh, so that so it has a uh, free digital download of Evil Dead 2. Nice. That's really cool. And this is the little thing for the upcoming Evil Dead 2 game. Oh. Oh. Well, that's fun. Cool. All right, here we are. Oh. The Six Toughest Women in Horror uh, is... That is very good and very you, but also... Oh, yeah, it's not <sighs> spotty. You can tell our priorities by what we chose to focus saw, on in this cover. I saw The Shadow of Nosferatu in one of the best scenes of that film. Mm -hmm. And also, the headline is good. The Six Toughest Women in Horror is excellent A+. Q&A with the creators of Fragments of Him. What's inside this month's horror block? All right. Carrie White, Carrie Ripley, Ripley, Helen Lyle from Candyman. I haven't Man. seen Candyman. I saw it a million years ago. Helen was really good. From Aaron, Your Next. I still haven't watched that, actually. It sounds familiar. I wonder if I have Planet Terror. Oh, Cherry Darling is... Um, I saw Planet Terror, didn't I? Yeah, it's the girl with the shotgun leg. Mm, yes. All right, and Halloween. Lori from Halloween. Yeah, totally. Okay. Cool. Ragman's okay, moving on. What's inside, What's inside this? Okay, robot. Court of the Dead art book. Be this. Help you select which faction you belong to. With every page, you'll unveil the secrets of the court and dive into this battles of the underground. Um, twenty-five dollar sideshow gift card. It was in here. Oh, okay. 
Like so. It's being presented as a separate item. What's Sideshow? Cool, we'll look it up. Sideshow.com slash nerdblog and get $25 Figure off. Figure statues, statues are prints, prints and more. more. Cool, okay. All right. We'll look that up. Um, Puppet Master 3 DVD. When Toulon's wife is killed by Nazi soldiers, he rallies up a group of allies consisting of his beloved puppets. Evil Dead Ash figure. With his chainsaw arm. With his undeniable chainsaw hand. Thank you. I'm a grown up. I can admit when I'm wrong. Someday it'll happen. Mm -hmm. Alright, next is Screen Pin. Screen Pin. Screen Pin. Um, brush up in your horror movie knowledge before you head into Woodsboro, California. Duh. In the House of Flies DVD. These kidnappers are taking the game of chess all too literally. As you become a psychological pawn in their sick game, will they keep you in check? Or can you out with them and escape their clutches? Oh, the chess metaphor kind of broke down, but oh well. Yeah, that's true. Um, <laughs> Rue Morgue issue number 176. Rue Morgue. And... <gasps> Your shirt. Nosferatu t-shirt! <laughs> Let's let the viewers ogle it again. This is so good. <laughs> Beautiful shirt. Very happy with that. Can't wear it yet. Still too bad. Getting there. Getting there. Alright, so that was a good box. It was a solid one. Um, I feel kind of low energy about it. But I don't think that's the box's fault. I think I am just not yeah. high energy today. I was kind of surprised by two, two DVDs. DVDs in the same box. But it's cool because it's like new movie and old movie. Mm -hmm. It's like old, funny, hor B-horror. And I, I assume that's what the Puppet Master franchise is. Because yeah. I've never seen any. But that's what I assume. Pretty much. And also a new, probably pretty good one. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, I like... Little, the little ash figure. Mm -hmm. He can go on my shelf or your shelf. Mm -hmm. I don't have any particular attachment to any of the items. Which, I, I mean, they're all kind of cool. They just. Cool. Yay, horror. <laughs> I guess. Um, all right. So that was a fun box. I think that next we are going to have a. Um, bam box. Bam box. At some point, someday. Um. For huh. those of you... Someday our prints will come. Uh, <laughs> it's funny because uh, they have prints. Print, right. Anyway. Oh, boy. Um, <laughs> so, oh, oh, apparently what's going on is they have a shipping delay. Oh. Because they ordered a bunch of officially licensed merchandise and it has not cleared customs yet. Mm. So, they, they're like, they sent out an email and they're like, it's all ready to go except for this one item that we're waiting on. So... For once, horror block beat them. What a shocker. Um, oh, you're right. <laughs> it is backwards from usual. It is. I didn't even notice. Mm. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, but that box is Space Defend. They're doing like a, a big, broad, like what is our term, and then kind of like what we should expect. So. I didn't understand that. Like, oh, okay, like, um,. So it's all going to be space stuff, but it's all going to be, like, defense-related space. space stuff. Yes. Huh. It's a subtitle. Yeah, th exactly. Okay. Yeah. So who knows? Neat sci-fi stuff. Cool. Um, and who knows when we're going to get it. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, I feel happy. I feel like um, this box has made my life complete. Um, and now I wouldn't go that far, but wow. And, look at that. and now I can die, thank God. <laughs> um... So, I feel good. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Anything else we should discuss? I don't think so. Okay. Well, in that case, I want to thank you for watching the video. Mm -hmm. Yep. And if you felt like liking and subscribing and commenting, then those are things you I should do. I am very sorry that we were boring today. Speak for yourself. You're boring. I am boring. Um, I... I'm going to accept that. <laughs> it's my lot in life. Uh, I respect that self-knowledge. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, well, thanks. Bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> That's funny.